What's going on streamers? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the video capture device in Streamlabs desktop, and this is going to be catered towards beginning streamers. So right now I have my capture card as the example, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to click on the plus in sources, go to video capture device and add source, give it a name, and then you should then see a preview here. If you don't see a preview, there's a few different options as to why. One, it's not powered on. Two, there's nothing going to it. So like the source is not getting anything. So it could be the cable. Um, it could be where it's plugged into. So I would double check all that. And the third one is that the program is just needing to be shut down and then reopened and then it should display it. But once you do see something like this, click on the device drop down. You're going to see a list of all the different devices that you could use. We're just going to leave it on the capture card here. Now, if you're having some other issues with it, you can also try to deactivate and reactivate and see if that helps. You can configure the video settings, but you should be good. But if you need to, you can configure it there. For resolution, FPS type, leave it, just leave it on default. If you do custom, if you click on custom, this thing will probably freeze. If it freezes, you gotta close it down and it's gonna put it right back to default again. Now for the color space and range, you can leave it at default or you can set it to 709, gives it a nice look. 601, not that bad either. And then for your color range, if you put it on partial, it's going to probably look the best because if you put it on full, it's gonna look super dark, but it's all personal preference. For buffering, just leave it at auto detect. Don't even touch anything else down here. And then for your audio output mode, just leave it to capture audio only because that's what you want to do. All right. Now, the, I didn't talk about the custom audio device that is a bit more advanced. You can venture into that if you want to. But again, this is all towards beginning or beginners. So once you have that set up, you are pretty much good to go. But there is one last thing I want to leave with you in this video. And that is if you want to have like a webcam and your capture card together. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on the plus, go to video capture device, click add source. Do not, do not add this one. You don't wanna use this one. You want to add a new source instead because what, what would happen if you were to take this one is it's gonna mirror both sources. You don't wanna do that. So we're gonna take this, add new source, and we're just gonna grab something like this. See if it will work. All right, and now you can see that I have the webcam over here. So now that I have two different sources and I have control over both of them and I can overlap them and do everything I need to, but you'll have your webcam here and then you'll have the game and everything over there. Now, if for some reason it doesn't show the webcam or if it's duplicating still for the first source that you did, even though you did not choose to select an existing one, but you created a brand new one, close the program, reopen the program, and it should be there. I don't know why that seems to be an issue, but that seems to be the workaround for me. But if you found this video helpful, be sure to comment, like, share, subscribe, check the channel for some other videos. That way it can help you with your streaming and content journey. And if you have any questions, let's talk about it in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.